my name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the interval from new moon to first quarter is about how long. So let's do a moon diagram, moon, earth, and sun diagram, and kind of figure out the angles and the cycles and how long they take. So here we have the sunlight coming in, and we have here the earth, and here is the moon at different parts of its orbit. So over here, as you can see, this side is the side that's lit, and we're seeing the dark side, right? So this is new moon. Let's call this zero degrees. Okay, now we move up and we see half of it illuminated. So this is going to be first quarter. And let's call this 90 degrees. And here we have full moon. And this is 180. And then we have the third quarter. And this is 270. Okay, so it goes 360 degrees in about 28 days. So our conversion factor is that 28 days is equal to 360 degrees. Now, it travels from 0 to 90 from new moon to first quarter. Uh, so it travels 90 degrees. So if we want to find out what, how many days is 90 degrees, we can multiply it by our actual convection fact, conversion factor. So if we divide this by 360 degrees and multiply it by 28 days, we get that is about 7 days. So every 7 days we go, we change 90 degrees. So the first 7 days it will go from new moon to first quarter, the next 7 days it will go from first quarter to full moon, and so forth. So if you ever want to find out um, how long it takes something to go in a complete circle, figure out the number of days that it takes to do 360 degrees, and then you can use your conversion factor in order to figure out how long the intervals are. My name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is how long it takes the moon to go from new moon to first quarter. Mm -hmm.